Hello, welcome to watch the creative proteomics videos about protein quantification. Today, we are going to learn some basic knowledge about silic, stable isotope labeling using amino acids in cell culture. Silic is a powerful method based on mass spectrometry that identifies and quantifies relative differential changes in protein abundance. First used in quantitative proteomics in 2002, it provides accurate relative quantification without any chemical derivatization or manipulation. The principle of silic is based on metabolically incorporating stable isotope labeled amino acids into the entire proteome. In silic, two populations of cells are grown in two different culture media, the light medium that contains amino acids with the natural isotope, and the heavy medium that contains stable isotope labeled amino acids. After a sufficient number of cell divisions, all the proteins from the cells cultured in heavy medium contain amino acids in the heavy state. Analyzed with liquid chromatography with tandem mass spectrometry, the quantification of silic is based on testing the ratio of introduced isotope labeled peptides to unlabeled peptides. The signal intensities from light and heavy samples allow for quantitative comparison of their relative abundances in the mixture. The silic experiment can be divided into two phases, the adaptation phase and the experimental phase. In the adaptation phase, cells are grown in light and heavy silic medium until heavy amino acids are completely incorporated into the growing cells, which can be assessed by mass spectrometry. During the experimental phase, the two cell populations are subjected to different treatments according to the research aim. Subsequently, the mixed cell population or protein lysate is studied. Then samples are analyzed with liquid chromatography with tandem mass spectrometry to identify and quantify the ratios of heavy peptides to light peptides. Silic coupled with liquid chromatography with tandem mass spectrometry, has been widely used to characterize protein quantitative differences among different samples, investigate the changes of protein post-translational modifications, and distinguish specific interacting proteins in the protein-protein interactions networks. Silic provides an in vivo strategy to label the proteins with different stable isotopic forms of the amino acids, which makes it possible to monitor quantitative differences at the protein level under different conditions. In addition, silic was also applied to identify differentially expressed proteins in organelles, such as the nucleus, nucleolus, or cell insulin secretory granules. For post-translational modifications analysis, Silic labeling peptides are subject to a fractionation and an enrichment step to improve identification of post-translational modification peptides. Combined with mass spectrometry technologies, silic allows for the global and dynamic analysis of post-translational modifications, including phosphorylation, acetylation, glycosylation, ubiquitination, and methylation. For example, Researchers used silic and immobilized metal affinity chromatography for phosphopeptide enrichment, to quantify phosphorylation changes of proteins in G-protein coupled receptor signaling pathways in response to pheromone signals in yeast. When studying protein-protein interactions, protein complexes are immunoprecipitated from the mixture of silic-labeled cell lysates. Combined with silic, specifically interacting proteins can be efficiently distinguished from non-specific background proteins. The abundance of specific interaction partners purified from the bait sample is significantly higher than the one from the control sample, resulting in quantified ratios much higher than one. In contrast, the abundance of non-specific background proteins should be comparable from both the bait and the control sample, such that their ratio is close to one. Silic-based quantitative proteomics can be used to identify the specifically interacting proteins in investigating exogenous protein-protein interactions, endogenous protein-protein interactions, or inducible protein-protein interactions. Silic is a simple and powerful method for quantitative analysis of proteins, characterized by quantitative accuracy and reproducibility. Differentially treated samples can be combined at the level of intact cells or proteins, namely at the very first step of the experimental workflow, and can be processed together to minimize experimental error or bias. But it is only appropriate for cell samples, which requires a long time due to cell culture. At Creative Proteomics, we are confident to provide professional and reliable silic services and other proteomics quantification services, including iTrack based proteomics analysis service, TMT based proteomics analysis service, absolute quantification service, label free quantification service, and semi quantitative proteomics analysis service. 
Thanks for watching our video. If you have any questions or more requirements, please do not hesitate to contact us. We are very glad to provide you with Silic service and other protein quantification services.